Hi, in this video I want to share with you whether you should use plain text or HTML emails and what's the difference, what are the benefits and which one should you use in the end. The most significant difference is in the way you can format your emails. With plain text you can only put the raw text and not put any fancy bolding and italics and adding images to your email while the HTML emails you can do all that. You can format your text, use different types of fonts, put in images and style the email the way you want. But there are pros and cons to both. With plain text, the disadvantage is that you can't track the open rate. And with HTML emails, you're able to track those open rates. And with HTML emails, you can track those opens. So let me show you a demonstration between both. Now I'm in get response in the broadcast section where I've enabled HTML. So this is a HTML demonstration. I'm going to put some text here. Okay. Now you can see here I've got a few options here to format the text. I can click this little gear icon, choose a font. I'm going to choose an aerial font, you know, make it as big as I want. And obviously I wouldn't send this, but you get the idea and I can bold the text. I can make this uh, clickable by using the little insert and put a URL there. As, as you can see now that is linked. So this would be ideal if you want to put a call to action like click here to find out more. While in plain text mode, you can't do that. So, you know, I'm going to link that. All right, HTTP. So this would be your affiliate link or product link. And now that's hyperlinked as you can see. Rather than putting a URL, you know, that looks pretty ugly. Right, so that obviously looks better. Click here to find out more as opposed to just a HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and the URL. So that's the advantage really with uh, HTML as well. With the formatting, you're able to do that. And I, can, I can also insert an image as well by clicking on this insert image. Now let me show you the plain text format. It really is plain. Okay, this is in Aweber. You've got your subject line as usual. And then you, you know, put in the text. And that's it. There's really no other option to format the text. It's going to look like that. Not exactly like this, but uh, depends on the subscriber's mail uh, program that they use to open. If it's Gmail, then usually the font is in Arial font, so it won't look like this. But really, if you wanted to put a link, then you would have to put in the direct link to wherever it is. You can't put in the call to action. Click here to find out more. And there's no way to link that, okay? They can't click it. So you're going to have to put in the URL. And that's a difference. And you're, you aren't able to track the open rate of plain text. You can track the click-throughs if you put in a cloaked link, right? Let's say this is the bit.ly, you know, whatever link it is. But it's going to look like that. It looks pretty ugly, right? So that's the... That's, you can still track clicks. That's a that's a thing with plain text. So those are the differences between HTML emails and text emails. So hope that helps in finding which one to use best for you.